And I decided that today I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about something that's really been on my mind and is a mindset change that I have been really working on shifting lately. And that is switching from the mentality of living to lose weight versus losing weight to live. let me get like some light on this situation um so it's monday morning and i'm getting ready to log on for my all day training that i have tomorrow and today it's virtual so i'm just going to do it from the comfort of my bed because i can first things first i'm going to do my 20 to 30 minutes of morning chores before i log on for my training i don't have a lot to do so this may take less than 20 to 30 minutes first world problems <clears throat> all right guys so the kitchen and living room is tidied up so i'm just gonna get on for work So it's about 4.30 and just got done with my training. So I'm just going to go ahead and get off. I don't have any um, like notes or anything that has to be done tonight. So I'm just going to call it a day. Um, since it's Monday, I do need to plan out the rest of my week in my planner. So I think I'm going to do that first. I need to work out, obviously. And oh my goodness, it's so dark out here. Hold on, you guys. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, even then it's still dark um, so I need to fill out my planner I need to work out need to eat dinner obviously um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to get done tonight I wish I could put my Christmas tree up but yeah that's not gonna happen until later this week so I don't know let's just see where the night takes us shall we I hope that's not too loud in the background. 
I guess we'll see. So I just got done filling out my planner for um, the rest of this week just to make sure that I had my entire schedule down, um, not just for work, but also like YouTube and everything else, things I needed to get done. Um, have I mentioned that I love to-do lists? I don't know what it is, but I just enjoy writing them. So I have several of those for this week, that's for sure. Um, but as I was filling it out, it got me thinking about some things. And I decided that today I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about something that's really been on my mind and is a mindset change that I have been really working on shifting lately. And that is switching from the mentality of living to lose weight versus losing weight to live. In the past when I would be on weight loss journeys and losing weight, it was so easy to become obsessive about healthy eating or working out or the number on the scale inches whatever it was honest to goodness like i would be trading one addiction for another instead of living to eat i was now living to lose weight literally all i could think of throughout the day was what was the next thing i was going to do in order to lose more weight or to speed up my weight loss and when it came to making decisions or going on vacations or going out with friends or just going places in general all i could ever do was think about how it was going to impact my weight loss and like i said earlier like i would literally get to the point where i was living to lose weight and every single time like clockwork i would get overwhelmed and burnt out and lose interest and just start feeling super run down and the next thing i knew i was falling off track and binging but this time around i am really trying to focus on sustainable weight loss and part of that challenge has been working on changing this mindset and recognizing that weight loss needs to fit into my life not the other way around that i am losing weight to live and function better and improve my quality of life but i also can't let my quality of life suffer just to lose weight that just completely defeats the purpose of this entire journey. Now, obviously, when I'm talking about your quality of life suffering, I'm not talking about binging or indulging your every craving or never working out. I'm talking about when you get to the point where you are putting weight loss before everything else. When losing weight has just become the ultimate priority and has caused you to stop living your life and doing the things that you want to do. When you let it dictate your every decision and you stop letting yourself enjoy life even to like a reasonable extent. So an example of this might be if I were to avoid going on a family vacation because I didn't want to gain any weight. Or if I decided to stop doing Sunday dinners with my family because they don't eat the same way that I do. Now, obviously, you can set expectations for yourself around these types of events and situations. For example, I could set the expectation that I only fill up my plate once when I go over for Sunday dinner. Or I could offer to cook a healthier Sunday dinner once a month. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm not saying that you can't try to make healthier decisions when it comes to these types of situations and events, but when you start to avoid these things and avoid living your life, or you know that mentality that you can get into where you're like, well, I'll do it when I've lost all the weight that I wanna lose. Or when it gets to the point where you are setting so many rules and expectations for yourself in these types of events and situations that you become miserable or it really negatively impacts your ability to enjoy yourself then that might be an indicator that something's wrong. Which is why I'm really trying to work on adopting the 80-20 lifestyle. You know, be on target 80% of the time, but then the other 20% of the time, you can let yourself indulge a little bit and enjoy yourself. Now, obviously, with my struggles with all or nothing thinking and everything else, like this has been a challenge for me, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. And in honor of this idea of losing weight to live, I think I'm going to try a workout that I have loved in the past but could not do at all at 380 pounds and see how far I've come.
Okay, guys, so whew, I only did like eight or nine minutes. The goal wasn't to do the entire video. It was just to see how much better I can do it now because for those of you who don't know, I posted like a mini meltdown of me. Like, I think it was like my fourth or fifth video um, when I had tried to do Taibo and I couldn't and I was super upset. So knowing that now I can, I could probably do it. I'm not going to um, because I still, you know, I'm still morbidly obese and my knee is still bugging me. So I'm probably not going to add it into my workout routine until I'm like 250 or below. Um, just because I don't want to risk an injury. Um, so like I said, I just did like eight or nine minutes just to see how much freer I felt in, in regards to like movements and how fast I can move. And that was amazing, you guys. I love Taibo and I miss it so much. So I can't wait to get to the point where I can not only do it, but it's safe for me to do it and I'm not risking an injury, but Regardless, I still feel good, so yeah. Um, I'm going to do my walk away the pounds video probably just like 30 minutes. Um, and then I'll make some dinner and I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. <laughs> probably edit my vlog for tomorrow, so see you guys later. So I think that was the first time ever. Well, okay, for this weight loss journey that when she did the um, four knee lifts instead of double knee lifts, I did them. Not bad. I'm tired now. It is 1 a.m. and first off, don't ask me why I'm still awake because your guess is good as mine, but I was getting ready to finally lay down and try and go to sleep and realize I didn't end the vlog today. And I already have my retainers in, so hopefully you guys can understand what I'm saying right now, but if not, oh well. Um, I wasn't about to take these suckers out just to put them back in two seconds later, so we're working with what we got, folks. As always, if you enjoyed this vlog, let me know by subscribing and giving it a big thumbs up. And make sure you tap on that notification bell and select all so you can join me next time. Good night, warriors. Mm -hmm.